once again welcome back with most probable and vital questions which I am going to discuss of your class 2 mathematics based on the concept of arithmetic progression. And dear students all of you know we are discussing some of the important vital questions, selective questions for you for your okay CBSC board exam okay and some important questions has been given to you at the end of the class in the form of assignment I hope and it will help you and also try for that okay and also you can uh, solve the similar kind of problem based on the concept okay let's see the, here is the problem for you look at the problem here and if eighth term of an AP B 1 by V B term B 1 by A then show that its a b t s term is 1. Look at the solution here. Let the first term of the AP be x. The common difference be y. Okay. So, according to the questions, the a term of an AP is 1 by b. It means t a is equal to x plus a minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1 by b according to the formula. Again given that the b is term of a p is 1 by a. Yes or no? b is term of the a p is 1 by a. It means t b is equal to x plus b minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1 by a. Right? Understand? So, what is given you once again? The term T A is equal to eighth term, okay, is equal to x plus A minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1 upon B. T B is equal to x plus B minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1 by A. And we have to show that its A B T S term is 1. It means the term A B, A B term is equal to x plus A B minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1. This is what we have to prove. This is one of the interesting and fundamental problem, okay, based on the concept of arithmetic progression, right? So, please try for a while. Do you have any idea? Let us have a look. Here, T A is equal to x plus A minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1 by B. From the equation, it is given. Similarly, T B is equal to X plus B minus Y, B minus 1 whole into Y is equal to 1 by A, right? Now, you have to subtract the equation 1 and 2. After subtracting the equation 1 and 2, you can see here, you can see here, here plus X minus X will be cancelled. Understand? Yes? So, after cancellation, you will get, you can take the common here Y, Y can be taken, Y whole into A minus 1 minus b minus 1 is equal to 1 by b minus 1 by a. Once again see the y here a minus 1 will be y. Here the sign has been changed which is minus okay b minus 1 will into y. So, here y can be taken as a common factor. So, after taking the common factor y will into here a minus 1 a minus 1. Here the sign is minus sign minus sign and b minus 1 is equal to 1 by b minus 1 by a. Right? Understand? So, y whole into a minus 1 after removing the bracket, this minus into plus will be minus b and minus into minus will be plus 1. Understand? So, y whole into a minus 1 minus b plus 1 is equal to a minus b whole divided by a b. Okay? After removing the bracket, inside bracket. So, again you see the minus 1 and plus 1 will be cancelled. Yes or no? So, after cancellation you will get y whole into a minus b, a minus b is equal to a minus b divided by a b. Again also you see, here also we can cancel a minus b in the left hand side and a minus b on the right hand side we can cancel and after cancellation we will get y is equal to 1 upon a b. This is another equation, the value of y which is the common difference of the arithmetic progression which is y is equal to 1 upon a b, right? Now by putting the values of y in the equation 1 we shall get x plus a minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1 by b. You see here x plus a minus 1 
What is the value of y? Which is 1 upon a b, which is equal to 1 by b. So, x plus a minus 1 whole into 1 by a b is equal to 1 by b. x plus a minus 1 whole divided by a b is equal to 1 by b. Again, you see x is equal to 1 by b. This plus a minus 1 by a b will be transposed to the right hand side. It will be minus of a minus 1 whole divided by a b. Thus, we get x is equal to 1 by b minus of a minus 1 divided by a b. Right? So, x is equal to, now you can take the LCM. Now, you see 1 by b, the denominator is b and here the denominator is a b. So, the LCM is a b. Understand? So, after taking the LCM, here a b divided by b which is what? a. So, a multiplied 1 is a. Similarly, a b divided by a b is 1. Okay? So, minus of a minus 1. Understand? Here x is equal to, you see, a minus of a minus 1. So, you can remove the bracket. I have removed the bracket, it will be minus a and this minus into minus will be plus 1. Understand? Okay? Now, once again, see here, here you see the plus a and minus a, we can cancel. Understand? So, after cancellation, we will get x is equal to 1 upon a b. Right? Thus, we get x is equal to 1, 1 by a b. y is equal to 1 by a b. Okay? Now, we have to prove that it's a b t h term is 1. It means t a b is equal to x plus a b minus 1 whole into y is equal to 1. We have to prove. Now, see left hand side LHS which is x plus a b minus 1 whole into y. Now, you can in place of x you can write 1 upon a b. In place of y you can write 1 upon a b. After putting the value 1 upon a b plus a b minus 1 whole into 1 by a b is equal to 1 by a b plus a b minus 1 whole divided by a b. Again, 1 by a b plus a b minus 1 by a b. Okay. You have to add by taking the LCM, the LCM will be a b. So, it will be 1 plus a b minus 1. Right. Understand? Now, if you remove the bracket, after removing the bracket, you will get 1 plus a b minus 1. Again, you, you can cancel here plus 1 and minus 1. There, plus 1 and minus 1, you can cancel. After cancellation, you will see it will be a b divided by a b which is 1 and this is the ok and where this is the right hand side what we have to prove thus it is proved that the a b t s term is 1 ok thus we get l h s is equal to r h s thus it is proved that if the a th term of an a p is 1 by b and b th term is 1 by a then its a b t s term is always 1 this is one of the interesting and selective question for you for yours examination. Okay. I hope it will help you and guide you in solving your doubt. Okay. Here is another vital questions for you I am going to discuss. Let us see. Here is the problem. Look at the problem here. And if the p -th term of an AP is q and q -th term is p, then prove that its nth term is p plus q minus 1. This is one of the most important and interesting problem which I am going to explain. Okay, understand? Let's see the problem here. Look at the solution. Let the first term of the AP is x. The common difference of the AP is y. So, according to the question, the p term of an AP is q. It means AP is equal to x plus p minus 1 whole into y is equal to q. Again, given that the q term of the AP is what? P. It means a q is equal to x plus q minus 1 whole into y is equal to P. Okay. We get equation 1 and 2. We have to prove that n term of the AP is P plus q minus 1. It means we have to prove a n is equal to x plus n minus 1 whole into y is equal to P plus q minus 1. P plus q minus n. Understand? Now from the equation 1 and 2, what do you get? A p is equal to x plus p minus 1 whole into y is equal to q. And a q is equal to x plus q minus 1 whole into y is equal to p. Now you have to subtract the equation 1 and 2. And after subtraction, you will get the plus x minus x will be cancelled. Here plus x and minus x will be cancelled. After cancellation, you will get here you can take the y p minus 1 whole into y. Here the sign plus will be minus minus of q minus 1 whole y. 
So y can be taken as common factor. After doing the common factor, it will be p minus 1, p minus 1. Here the sign is minus. So minus of q minus 1 is equal to q minus p. So y whole into p minus 1. Here minus q plus 1 is equal to. Here q minus p, if you take the minus sign, it will be minus of p minus q. Here q minus p. You have to take, you have to take the sign minus sign, negative sign. So if you take the minus sign is common factor, then here plus p will be my here the minus p will be plus p and the plus q will be minus q sign will change again you see here and in this expression you see and minus 1 and plus 1 we can cancel okay so after cancellation we will get y whole into p minus q is equal to minus of p minus q understand so again y is equal to minus of p minus q whole divided by p minus q you see again here p minus q and p minus q will be cancel again understand and the cancellation will get the value of y which is the common difference of the arithmetic progression is minus 1. Thus y is equal to minus 1. Now by putting the value of y in the equation 1 we shall get x plus p minus 1 whole into y is equal to q. x plus p minus y whole into minus 1 is equal to q. Again you see the minus 1 will be multiplied with p which is minus p and minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 is equal to q. Thus x minus p plus 1 is equal to q and x is equal to q minus p plus p plus 1 will be minus 1 after transposition. Thus, x is equal to q plus p minus 1. Okay. Hence, x is equal to p plus q minus 1. Thus, the first first term of the p is x is equal to p plus q minus 1 and the common difference is y is equal to minus 1. Thus, we get that x is equal to p plus q minus 1 which is the first term and common difference y is equal to minus 1. Now, we have to show that the n term of the p Okay, AP is equal to x plus n minus 1 whole into y which is equal to p plus q minus 1. Now, you see in place of x, x is the first term in place of x you can write p plus q minus 1 plus n minus 1 whole into y in place of y we can write minus 1 which is the common difference of the p. Okay, so p plus q minus 1 here minus 1 will be multiplied minus 1 with plus n is minus n minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So, it will be p plus q minus 1 minus n plus 1. You, here you can also cancel minus 1 and plus 1. Right? After minus 1 plus 1 cancel, it will be p plus q minus 1. Thus, the n term of the AP is p plus q minus 1. This is also another interesting and vital problem for you. Okay? For your CVC board exam. I hope it will help you and guide you in clear your doubts. Okay? Understand? Note down all of you once again. Look at the question here. Understand? Let us move another question for you. Here is another question. Another vital and most probable questions for you of your class 10 mathematics based on the concept of arithmetic progression. Understand? Let us see. Very important questions for you. If m plus 1 th term of the AP is twice the n plus 1 th term, then prove that 3m plus 1th term is twice the m plus n plus 1th term. Right? Look at the problem. Understand? So, here is the solution for you. Very interesting problem for you, which I am going to discuss for you. Let the first term of the APJ, the common difference of the AP is D. So, according to the questions, the m plus 1th term of the AP is twice the n plus 1 th term. It means a m plus 1 is equal to twice of a n plus 1. And what is the formula of a m plus 1 means a plus m plus 1 minus 1 according to the formula of the general term of AP. Okay. a m plus 1 is equal to a plus m plus 1 minus 1 whole in d is equal to twice of a plus n plus 1 minus 1 whole in d because this is the general form of a plus a n plus 1 term a m plus 1 term is a plus n plus 1 minus 1 d understand here and uh, all of you know uh, then here is plus 1 and minus 1 you can cancel here also you can plus 1 and minus 1 you can cancel so after cancellation we will get a plus d m is equal to twice of a plus d n or a plus d m is equal to 2a plus 2dn after multiplying 2 into a 2a plus 2dn 
or you can write 2a plus 2dn is equal to a plus dm. Okay, here plus a will be uh, left transfer to the left hand side, it will be 2a minus a which is dm and plus dn will be minus 2dn. So, 2a minus a is equal to dm minus 2dn. 2a minus a is equal to a which is dm minus 2dn. Thus, you get the first term of the AP, a is equal to dm minus 2dn. Understand? This is the equation number 1. And you have to prove that 3m plus 1 th term is the twice of m plus 1 m plus n plus 1 th term. It means a 3m a 3m plus 1 is equal to twice of a m plus n plus 1. Understand? Okay, so we have to prove a 3m plus a 3m plus 1 is equal to twice of a m plus n plus 1 term. Let us see LHS left hand side here. Okay, 3m plus 1 term or a 3m plus 1. According to the general formula we can apply of the arithmetic progression a plus 3m plus 1 minus 1 whole into d. Okay, and here you can cancel the plus 1 and minus 1. After cancellation, you get a plus 3 dm. Understand? So, in place of a, you can write dm minus 2 dn. So, dm minus 2 dn plus 3 plus 3 dm. So, dm minus 2 dn plus 3 dm. Okay. Once again, you can write dm plus 3 dm plus 3 dm minus 2 dn minus 2 dn. dm plus 3 dm is 4 dm minus 2 dn. Thus, we got left hand side LHS is equal to 4 dm minus 2 dn. This is the equation number 3. Similar manner, we have to prove the RHS right hand side which is twice of a m plus n minus a m plus n plus 1. Now, according to the general form of a, general term of AP, we can get twice of a plus m plus n plus 1 minus 1 whole into d. General formula, okay, general term of arithmetic progression, we can use, okay, a plus m plus n plus 1 minus 1 whole into d. Understood? Yes. Right? So, here you can cancel, you can plus 1 and minus 1, you can cancel. After cancellation, you get twice of dm, in place of a, you can write dm minus 2 dn. Here plus 1 minus 1 is cancelled. It will be m plus n whole into d. Understand? Look at here. In place of a, okay, we have to write dm minus 2 dn. Because the value of a is 2 dm minus 2 dn. Already we have got it. Okay. So, twice of dm minus 2 dn plus d multiplied m is dm plus d multiplied n is dn. After the arrangement, we shall get 2 whole into dm, dm plus dm plus dm minus 2. Here you see plus dn plus dn and minus 2 dn minus 2 dn. So, twice of dm plus dm which is 2 dm, dn minus 2 dn is minus dn. Thus, we got 2 to the 4 dm minus 2 dn. Thus, we got right hand side of the Expression is 4 dm minus 2 dn. From the equation 3 and 4, we get a left hand side is equal to right hand side. Thus, 3m plus 1 th term is twice the m plus n plus 1 th term of the AP. Hence, a 3m plus 1 is equal to twice of a m plus n plus 1. This is what we have to going to prove. Based on the concept of arithmetic progression. Understand? So, another vital and interesting problem which I am going to discuss for you and most vital questions here. Look at the problem all. This is one of the 100 percent possible questions which I am going to discuss. We will already have discussed and this type of questions for you. Similar type of questions I am going to once again discuss with you. Okay, and I hope you will paint importance for that questions and also you will practice the similar kind of problem. 
If the sum of n terms of an AP is 3n square minus 2n plus 1, then find the n term of the AP, find the arithmetic progression and also is 2023 term of the AP. Look at the solution here. Given that the sum of n terms of AP, Sn is equal to 3n square minus 2n plus 1. Since 3n square minus 2n plus 1 is a quadratic polynomial in variable n and we know that any quadratic polynomial is the sum of the n term of an arithmetic progression. Thus, the sum of n terms of NP Sn is equal to 3n square minus 2n plus 1. And when n is equal to 1, S1 is the first term of NP which is A1 is equal to 3 whole into 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1. In place of n, we have to write 1. So, after solving, you will get 3 minus 2 plus 1, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. Thus, the first term of the AP, A1 is equal to A is equal to 2. Similarly, when n is equal to 2, we shall get the sum of the first two terms, S2 is equal to A1 plus A2, which is 3 whole into 2 square plus 2 into 2 plus 1. Or 2 plus a2 is equal to 3 into 4 minus 2 into 2 plus 1. The 2 plus a2 is equal to 12 minus 4 plus 1. So 2 plus a2 is equal to 8 plus 1. After solving, you will get a2 is equal to second term of AP, 9 minus 2 which is 7. Thus, the second term of the AP, a2 is equal to 7. The first term of the AP, a1 is equal to a already 2. We have already got it. Second term of the AP, A2 is equal to 7. Now, you have to find out the common difference of the AP, which is D is equal to A2 minus A1. The difference between the second term and the first term, which is 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Thus, the common difference D is equal to 5. The first term A is equal to 2. So, if you know the common difference and the first term, then you can find out the N term of AP. A N is equal to A plus N minus 1 whole into D according to the general formula of AP which is 2 plus n minus 1 whole into 5, 2 plus 5n minus 5, which is 5n minus 3. Thus, the n term of the required AP, a n is equal to 5n minus 3, because 5n minus 3 is a linear polynomial in variable n, already know dear students, any linear polynomial always indicate the general term of the AP, this is one of the fundamental property, important property of the arithmetic progression, one second note down. Any linear polynomial is the general term of AP. So, if the general term of AP is known, we can find out any term and also we can find out the any arithmetic, any arithmetic progression. So, thus we get the n term of AP is a n is equal to 5 n minus 3. When n is equal to 1, then first term of AP a 1 is equal to a which is 2 already we know. When n is equal to 2, we shall get the second term. Okay. And second term is equal to a plus d which is 2. 2 plus 5 a plus d as per the formula a plus d is equal to 2 plus 5 which is 7 and when n is equal to 3 third term is equal to we shall get the third term a3 is equal to a plus 2d which is okay 2 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 plus 10 which is 12 thus the required arithmetic progression is 2 7 12 okay and this is what you have to find out using the the sum of the general term of the ap what is given. Again, you have to find out the 2020 th term of the AP. So, here according to the formula, A 2023 is equal to A plus 2022 D as per the formula. So, in place of A and D, you can use the value. After using the value, you shall get 2 plus 2022 into 5, okay, is equal to 10,112. Thus, 2023 term of the Required AP is 10,112. This is what we have to find out. One of the interesting, most possible question, most valuable question for you. I hope you will take importance for these questions. Here is an assignment for you. Look at the assignment for you and try for the assignment. Most valuable questions here in the assignment. Okay. I hope also you will practice this problem. Thank you for your interest and eagerness towards the class.